that question of what is one thing that I would like my people to know about me that they don't know, that's a very difficult question, being at home. The people of God at St. Peter Cleaver know much about me. Let me tell you, they remind, some of them remind me how they've changed my diapers. I particularly focused on um, why, why I dress the way that I do, why, why I wear my cassock. A daily reminder to me as I die to myself that I stand on the shoulders of a number of African American men who, through perseverance, endurance, and fidelity, fought for the privilege to be a priest of Jesus Christ. It's a reminder for me daily that I stand on the shoulders of many holy men and many religious sisters who have paved the way for me to be able to set here to to be at St. Peter Claver itself. My heart beats for, for my people, particularly the people at St. Peter Claver, who I am, words can't really express the depth of gratitude that I have to be able to minister to the people who have poured into me, to stand on their shoulders, to, to be uplifted by their prayers and to now be their, their father. Um, yes, I may be, you know, a Johnny, a little kid that was running around, but now I get to be father a Johnny to all those who have set this path for me to be here as a priest of Jesus Christ. So as a pastor, I, I love people to know that Priests are humans, right? People, I think, often say they put priests on pedestals or they just see them at the church on mass on Sunday on the altar, but like we're normal human beings. We have hobbies. You know, I like to go fishing and skiing and hunting. Uh, I'm also a human. I'm a sinner. I'm on the journey just like they are. And so uh, it's just important to know that priests are humans, that we ha have the same kind of likes and struggles that everyone else has. One thing that I want people to know about me as their priest. When people ask questions, when I ask questions, I love learning. And so when people have that uncertainty, whether you're a little kid in school or whether you are been married for 50 years, like I'm sure everyone has questions. No one knows everything. So just, I, would, I love people coming to me with questions. Uh, this one kid, he asked me, he goes, why do y'all wear green? I was like, that's excellent. Way to, way to observe it. See what you got. That's right. So there's a reason and you saw that we did this, so yeah, just keep asking questions. I basically grew up as sort of an introvert. I was a person that liked to be quiet and to reflect on things. And if you would have asked me, you know, if I had the choice of going out and doing something with 100 people or staying at home and reading a book, I probably would have chosen to stay home and read a book. And now as a priest, one of the things that we're asked to do is to truly be connected to the people of God. And I have found that that also is one of the great gifts of being a priest getting to spend time with people to experience their joys and their difficulties and to be with them and to walk with them. That's one of the best things about being a priest, for sure. I would want the people of St. Clement of Rome to know that their faith really bolsters and lifts up my faith. Uh, interacting with the congregation uh, and their faith level is, is so edifying to me that they have a real effect in their practice of their faith, in their embracing of the faith, in their enthusiasm for the faith, and uh, it's been infectious. And it's really, uh, I, I think, brought me to deeper levels in my own faith. So I, I'd like them to know that. What I'd like them to know is that uh, I love to play golf. Not nearly as good at it as I, as I could be. I, I love to read and I, I love following sports. I'm a big uh, Notre Dame football fan. I went to Notre Dame, so Notre Dame football and, and the Los Angeles Dodgers. I mean, the Dodgers, uh, you know, how a boy from New Orleans got to favor the Dodgers is a long story, but that's, that's something that uh, I enjoy, and, I, and I'm not sure many people would, would know that about me. Although they, over time, they come to when I wear those kind of things outside. I would love for my people to know that I am desperately in need of God's mercy, and I am incredibly in love with Jesus Christ. And that I don't live this life perfectly, but I really do love Jesus, that I'm not just an organizational leader, that I'm not just a smiling face on the side of the road or somebody that can um, make you feel better, but that I want to love Jesus so much and that I do in fact love Jesus so much and desire for them to know that same kind of love. 
that they would be able to know our Lord in such an intimate way, that the divine power of God that we've received from our baptism, that the, that the Lord dwells within our souls, and that we would want that power of the Holy Spirit to be unleashed in this life, but then again for eternity, that we are being drawn up by the Lord into heaven. And if they could see that in me, then I would be so delighted.